He ruled South Korea with an iron fist. Chon do hwan a former military dictator, was responsible for the deaths of hundreds. Thousands were imprisoned and tortured during his reign. A successful military officer, Chon do hwan took over in a bloodless coup in 1979. The former military commander turned president declared martial law in South Korea. Prominent opposition leaders were arrested, universities and parliament were shut. The move was met with backlash as tens of thousands took to the streets in the city of Wanju. Ten days in, the military dictator ordered troops to put down the pro-democracy uprising. It led to a brutal crackdown which officially left more than 200 people dead or missing. Some activists say the real toll may be much higher. Decades on, relatives of the victims are still broken over the massacre. <laughs> Chan and his supporters dismissed the uprising as a riot. His eight-year reign was marked by widespread use of torture against dissidents. Freedom of expression was stifled. But his time in office was full of rapid economic growth and prosperity. His government secured the right to host the 1988 Olympics. Chun resigned from office in 1987 amid nationwide mass protests calling for democracy to be restored. His final years were marred by court battles. He was charged with treason in 1993 over the 1979 coup and his role in the Guangzhou massacre. He was convicted and sentenced to death, but Chun Do Huan successfully appealed the charge. In an act of reconciliation, he was later pardoned by President Kim Dae-jung.